The Vampire Masquerade Blood Hunt is an upcoming free to play battle royale game coming only to PC. This game is made by Shark Mob and is set in Vampire the Masquerade universe. Last week I got a chance to play the alpha version of Blood Hunt and it was really amazing. You are vampires of this world who can climb anything and have a very fast movement as well as abilities. This game gives you a chance to select any one of the six vampires and each of them have their own abilities. These vampires are part of a clan and each clan consists of two characters. Each of these characters who are part of a clan will have the same clan ability but different passive and archetype ability. With different type of abilities, it plays very well in the game and you will have to play all of these characters to see which one suits you the best. The best part of this game is the movement. You can climb absolutely anything and it just feels so good to move around and slide and shoot. When you go into a match, you are given an option to select where you want to spawn. When you select an area, a small scanning happens which shows anyone who has selected your area. But in the end, everyone's location is shown in the map before you drop. Once you drop, it's basic battle royale things. Find a gun and go for shooting. Every character has a scanning ability so that they can scan for more loot that they can find or any NPCs that you can find in the game. These NPCs of the game can help you heal up because the only way you can heal is blood. So if you are low on health, you can go to any of these NPCs to get more health and you can do that by basically sucking their blood. You can also find blood bags in one of the loots as the way to heal as well. Speaking of NPCs, every NPC you suck the blood of will give something for your abilities. These will be some kind of a bonus for your abilities such as faster cooldown and much more. These NPCs will have different colors when you scan such as purple or orange that denotes the color of your ability. So the more you suck, the more advancements you get for your abilities. While spawning, there is one location that you might not want to drop on. The place where it shows entity because these entities are AI powered madmen. They have powerful weapons and it will take maybe a squad to take the whole area down and if you do, you will get a high tier loot but again, it's very very hard to take these AI down. Speaking of high tier, these loots are basically made of different tiers so you will find different tiers of weapon and even melee object to help yourself in the match. Since you can climb anything, you are mostly on the rooftops of the building. Barely is anyone on the streets since most of the fights happen on the rooftops. You will be jumping from one rooftop to the other and other people can notice you so you need to be aware of that. If someone catches you drinking a blood of an NPC then you will be visible for a while to everybody so you need to get away and keep on running to avoid that otherwise if you hide you will be killed. In terms of weapons you just get the basic weapons that you always get. You also have crossbows, you have double uh, pistols, you have shotguns, you have assault rifles. There are some throwables as well that can help you anyway. You also do collect a shield but you need to apply it and that does take a while so keep in mind. There were some issues with the alpha such as some places I was getting bounced away while climbing up which made no sense and the camera angle sometimes can bug out but that is not that major of an issue. Also this game gives you a good level of customization at least in the alpha. You can customize the way you want your character to look. Of course there are different templates that you can choose from and there is a good list of templates available. Although we don't know whether this is all the customization that will be present in the game when it comes out because if that's the case then it's not that much. Overall the game is pretty fun to play. You do have to look around everywhere in the map to decide what to do because you're on the rooftops. When you kill someone it's a hard decision to either drink their blood or just kill them entirely just to avoid getting shot by someone since you will be completely defenseless while you're drinking the blood. But yes the movement of this game is amazing along with these abilities that makes it a lot fun. Since it's a third person perspective mode and everybody jumps a lot as they go for the kill you might be reminded a bit of Fortnite that's just me maybe. Well this game doesn't have a release date yet but it will be soon coming to Steam and you can wishlist it right now on Steam and again it's going to be free to play anyway so you might even try it out and see what it is. Thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did leave a like and also do not forget to subscribe to Gamer Connect to watch more videos just like this every single week. Oh, 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 oh,